you see lots of death cases and repossession cases come before you, come before the courts. Oh, your idea is radical. What is it? It is. Uh, thank you for inviting me on. It's um, quite obvious to me that uh, politicians really don't understand the law. Uh, the idea was quite a simple one. It says, here is uh, a new, uh, a new uh, departure in Ireland. It's the arrival of the venture funds. And they bought up a lot of distressed mortgage properties uh, and um, buy two nets which are underwater. These are the big vulture funds we They're hear about coming in yes. and buying up uh, lots of houses and apartments that are, so I should say, some of them have a long term uh, uh, business model and some, most of them have a very short term business model. They want to flip them in there and at the moment are trying to uh, evict people from the houses. So we have, if you like, a large number of houses that are subject to claims for repossession at this stage. We have a large number of houses that have already been repossessed. Uh, over which receivers have been appointed. And it seems to me that it, you just marry this problem with the uh, entitlement of the state, of the entitlement of the state to deliver private property rights and acquire these properties, block stock, barrel, by compulsory purchase. But they've already been sold. Now it's sold to the budget plus. How do you like the back? You, uh, you make a compulsory purchase order under a few of these station, which will take that long to draw, and you acquire uh, back at the price at which the budget runs. So sorry guys, we sold you all that property, you were hoping to make a quick buck on it, but now we want it back. Yes. And actually we're going to legislate, we're going to make sure we get it yes. The reason is, because the constitution allows for the uh, for interference with property rights in situations where there are emergencies or where a social uh, good, a social interest requires um, legislative action of that sort. And the reason I, I, I went into public domain on this is because I, I'm actually quite frustrated by the fact that people think that the Constitution says, oh, private property is untouchable, you can't look, go there. Whereas, in fact, uh, the courts have been pointing out over, over many years that they are, they are open to uh, consider the prospect of, of change. So, Mr. Yeah. Alan Kelly said you can't do this, you can't, yes. can't meddle in the market. You were saying you're wrong, actually, you can't. Yes, yes. Uh, he, he, he's absolutely wrong. In, in, in the year 2000, there was a Supreme Court decision, it was about Part 5 of the Canning Act, in which the uh, courts decided that, and, and, and indicated that social and affordable housing were exactly the sort of social area, common good area, which needed to be regulated by state legislation. In other words, that's a green light for uh, the sort of proposal that I, I, I have here. And uh, it, it astonishes me that, that uh, governments come and go and uh, uh, almost invariably tell the law and tell the office, no, you cannot discuss this because the Attorney General tells us it's not, not, not a runner. As a matter of fact, there's a decision here, it's a NAVA decision. Right? Lawyers always deal with paper. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. We're not being sound by people. But here's a, here's a sound bite from the Division of Court. And it says, uh, it is important to emphasize with some precision what the court's rule is. Now you have to stop there and say, why would the court say it's important to emphasize? It's because the court wants somebody to take this up and listen to what they're saying. And to be general, people don't read it, don't really follow the court's reasoning on these things. But in this, they say, there will be a policy decision required of just to ask just how far it's necessary to go in order to achieve whatever public good is considered to be advanced. There will be a policy decision. So you're saying that you're saying the court, the courts want the state to intervene. The court then goes on to say, ultimately, the primary policy decision in such circumstances is what will be a Now, that's not what the general politicians, the 